I did a video a while ago discussing about how I store my data, especially in terms of how I make videos like this. Um, and I've done a workflow video as well. Um, if you wanna see those videos before this video, there'll be a card up here in the top uh, corner or a link in the description as well, um, just so you can get a brief understanding of what I'll be talking about. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing my NAS. Obviously, I'm at university now, but I still need access to an offsite backup. And I'll be explaining how I use Ray Drive and what sort of speeds and general sort of uh, things that I can use in terms of getting access to my data. Let's jump into it. Making sure you have an off-site backup, especially when creating videos and also doing photographic content as well, is pretty much essential. It basically means that if someone comes in and steals my computer or steals any part of this sort of setup, I will still have a backup. Um, especially if there's any sort of incident like a fire, water damage, I've still got an off-site backup and it will be secure. That is why I ended up getting a NAS, mainly because I wanted to have a second copy of my data, but also because when I come to university, I want to be able to sit, share it somewhere else and make sure that I can access it pretty much wherever I want, whenever I want. It's similar to like a OneDrive or a Google Photos in that sort of sense, but it enables me to pay a single fixed fee. So an initial investment of like 400 pounds for eight terabytes and then I can add more storage as I, as I please. And I'm not tied into a general sort of contract. In order for me to access the NAS though, I can obviously use the DSM online tool and software. But for me, that doesn't really work because I wanna have integration directly into Windows, especially into File Explorer. And the way around working around that is using the Ray Drive application. So we'll just head over to the computer and I will show you exactly what I mean. So now we're over on this computer. So with this sort of setup, you can see the way in which I organize my data. So at the top uh, corner over here, we have the two terabyte hard drive. So this is the actual hard drive that is inside my computer currently and holds pretty much all my data. And that ranges from client work to games, to LUTs, to motion graphic templates, all that sort of stuff. And I also want a backup on this Synology. So at the moment I have got a file copy running, um, but it still enables me to access it. So as you can see, I've got exactly um, a duplicate copy of exactly what I've got in here. So um, as an example, videos, um, I'll go into YouTube, into my personal channel, and all of these videos are backed up and accessible on both Drive, which is fantastic. And basically means that for every reason, if I lose any work, I also have a backup copy. In order to set it up, you need to download the Ray Drive application and you need to enter your sort of information. So obviously I don't wanna share my password information, but you just need to add it and use the edit tool. There are online tutorials and guides. I will try and leave another one of those with the link in the description as well for you to have a look at that. But then once it's all set up and you've set up your login correctly, you will be able to access or enable access to your Synology NAS directly through Windows File Explorer. Um, it's very, very simple, very, very easy to use, and I would highly recommend using it, especially if you're wanting to use your NAS outside of your local area network. Ray Drive basically plugs the gap between me having to use DSM um, and also not being able to access my NAS from um, the university sort of site. It's very, very easy, um, but also has some sort of caveats and complications, um, and some sort of versions of the software you do actually have to pay for. Um, I do use the free version, but there is an option to go over to premium or pro. If this video helped, if you don't mind hitting like, if you like these videos and want to stay up to date with more content, almost 98% of you aren't subscribed. If you don't mind hitting subscribe, that would be fantastic. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.